Hi guys, this is Rai Snow. Uh, in this video, I will explain how to load all the images in a folder, in a single folder. So not, you know, loading one by one, but, uh, you know, everything in the folder at the same time. This is especially useful when you have a lot of images, so you don't have to type every file name one by one. So let's start. Uh, I think I'm gonna explain two examples. The first example is when you put all the images in the less folder. So from here. So I have these uh, tile images. So let's copy these into this less folder. And then, okay, first we're gonna use file class and name this path and equal new file. So we're gonna specify the path and it, this time it's res and import. And then we're gonna create a file array and the name is uh, all files or something. Uh, equal path dot list files. We're gonna use this path and uh, use this list files method and put everything in this list folder into this file array. Then, so since we're gonna handle images, so we're gonna create a buffered image array and uh, I'm gonna name this all image, images or something. And import. Then we're gonna instantiate this all images. Equal new buffered image. And since this is array, and the array length is all files dot length. So the same number as this file array number. And then uh, let's uh, create some UI to display the picture. So JFrame window JFrame. Uh, Window.set.default close operation. Exit on close. Then uh, J label, I think. And this is also array. And equal new J label. And array length is all, uh, the same as the buffered image length. So. And now we're gonna create a for loop into i zero and i uh, all files dot length i plus plus. So here basically we're gonna convert these files to this buffered images. So first, all images uh, are i equal uh, image i o dot read uh, all files and i and also yeah. Let's surround this. Let's uh, try and catch. And also, let's instantiate this label too. So, label i equal new j label. And then, 
so we want to display all these images on these J labels so uh, we're gonna convert this buffered reader to image icon because um you know if you just need to get these images as buffered reader then you don't need to do this but uh, you know I want to show the result on the screen and to do that I'm gonna change these buffered images into a image icon so I can show these pictures on this J label icon equal new image icon uh, all images I and the image icon import and set this icon on this oops icon and finally add this label to the window oh, I. okay and that's that's everything for this for loop, I think. So finally, let's pack and uh, also set visible. And uh, let me add set the layout. And I'm gonna use grid layout. Five, five or something so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen images so five five should be fine so let's run this yeah hmm. so this is the result so yeah we just uh, you know access to this rest folder and uh, get all these files as this file arrays and then change this file array to this buffered image and then uh, set you know each image on this J label one by one and this is the result and uh, if you you know want to load images not in the rest folder but uh, for example like uh, in a folder on your desktop then uh, you just need to change the file path here so for example uh, I have this sample images folder on desktop and inside yeah this images so in this case so you just need to get this file path and uh, copy this and uh, so instead of this less but the paste here so this file pass and uh, let's run the program then result is the same yeah so that's how to load all the images in your rest folder or other folders on in your computer and thanks for watching and see you again